Here's another C45 beer. So I'm just going to do a quick reaction to Celtic signing Koro Torre yesterday on a free transfer. I think it's a great signing. As you know, he is well known in the English Premier League in particular, playing for three clubs, three big clubs, Man City, Arsenal and Liverpool. He won the Premier League at both the Gunners and the Citizens. He's won three FA Cups. He's won the African Cup of Nations. He's got so many caps for Ivory Coast. He really, really is a good player. He's experienced. He's just solid. Like, well, on his day, when Koto Torre is 100% fit and he's 100% focused, he is a top defender. I think he's what we need. A replacement to Effie Ambrose, who's just a total disaster. I just needs to go. I'm sick of Ambrose, I really, really am. He just needs to get out now. Surely that's the end of him now. You've got Shifri Ichenko, you've got Torre, you've got O'Connell. Even a Jair's better than, Tor uh, than Ambrose. He's not even a centre-back. He's a centre midfield player by trade, but he's filled in well and required in pre-season. And yeah, Kodo Torre was delighted in his interview, talking to Celtic TV and to Sky Sports and wherever. He looks, seemed really, really happy. He, he seems like he really, really wants to play for the club, which is great. Because I've seen so many players who have like proven their tr their worth in the Premier League, and they come to Celtic or Rangers and just like don't seem they seem to f think they know, but when it comes down to it, they don't they don't put 100% into it. Whereas so Colo Torre really wants to play well for Celtic and he wants to bring more success with Brendan Rodgers. So obviously he worked with Liverpool. The Open League final, I thought he was absolutely fantastic against Sevilla. For a 35 year old to perform that well was just incredible. He's got so much pace as well for a 35 year old. He's just. He's going to show leadership and he's just going to show dominance in defence. He's going to show how the game should be played. He's going to mop things up for Celtic, I think. So, welcome to Celtic Colo. Great sided and I'm happy Celtic have got him. And a quick. Quick brief description. Do I think Celtic will sign anybody else? I don't think so. Not at the moment. I think after the game against Astana or Wednesday, we might do something. But we've had four bids rejected from Aston Villa now for Scott Sinclair. I don't know why we keep going back to try and get him. But apparently the deal will be agreed and he will join eventually. I think it'd be a good signing. But the fact is that Villa wants so much money for him is ridiculous. He's not worth the, the amount they, they value him at. Also, hearing talks that Patrick Bamford could be joining Celtic, which would be, again would be a good signing, I think. For Middlesbrough, he scored 19 goals last year and he was a Championship Player of the Year. So, I think he'd be a good signing. Also, linked with that Turkish left back from Fenerbahce as well. I don't know what the update is on him. But, and Shane Duffy is also a target. I think we're not going to get him now. He seems to be fading away that interest. I think he. Probably made a bid for him yesterday, which was rejected. But I think Celtic have they've been very, very stubborn and very, very quiet with their transfer business, which is a good thing. But I really, really thought we would have got like ten, maybe twelve signings in. You look across the city, yet the new code they've brought Barton, they've bought Hill, they've bought Crancher, they bought the do from Leicester, they bought a load of players, so we haven't hardly bought any. I think that's a board, not Brendan Rodgers. The board need to wake up and actually do something for once. But I think we'll do something towards the end of this episode. Though. I think we will get a few players in. I'm delighted with Colo Torre signing. And if Sinclair joins, so be it. And if Bamford joins, so be it. And I think they'd be two good signings as well. So, yeah, I'll do a review to the Astana game. I'm going to watch it online. I don't think it's going to be broadcast on telly at the moment. It might be. I'm not sure if it isn't then I will watch the link and then as soon as the game is finished I will give my opinion and reaction to it so thanks for watching like and subscribe and I'll see you later peace out